everybody, Canadian Simmer here with you today, and this is a video to say thank you for 50 subscribers on YouTube, 100 follows on Tumblr. It means so much to me. You guys just don't understand how much this community has gotten me through and how every subscription and follow has just been a supporter and a motivation to keep going and getting through everything that's going on in my personal life and continuing on with this mm -hmm. journey of sims <laughs> that I've been on. So I asked you guys to submit your questions to me for a Q&A video so that you guys can get to know me as a person a little bit more. So let's get into it. I am 24 years old. I will tell you that my first name is Heather. Hi! I'm kind of boring. <laughs> I love like soups and sandwiches or like a stew or a chili with like a bun or a sandwich. Like last night I even had a, a coconut Thai chicken soup which was delicious and I had some naan bread with it. It was like amazing. I love soup. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know, there's something very comforting about it and I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But in the summertime, probably a salad, not gonna lie. I love salads. There's so much you can do with salads. All the different kinds of greens that you can use, whether it's like an iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce, kale, spinach, all the fruits that you can mix into it. I just love it. Uh, so anyways, yeah, like, soup for most of the year, salads for the hot part of the year. Unfortunately, I don't. I grew up in a house where uh, we had a cat when I was really little. Like, I'm talking under one. Apparently, I was horrible to this cat. Uh, then when I was a toddler, we had a dog. I recall it pushing me down the stairs as a toddler. And my dad was away for work, so my mom had to get rid of the dog because... Like, she just couldn't deal with the dog, like, pushing me around and me falling down the stairs. And then I had a hamster when I was in, like, grade four. Uh, my mom fed it too much cheese. I don't even think you're supposed to feed hamsters cheese, but she fed it cheese and way too much of it. And it had a heart attack and died. So, no pets. Uh, I am allergic to cats, so there will never be any cats for me. I really, really do want a dog, though, so maybe one day. Now, this is a really hard question for me, but I... There's there's three YouTubers that I highly recommend, and I watch... Actually, there's four. There are four YouTubers that I highly recommend, and I watch their stuff, like, frequently, so... For, in terms of Sims content, the two creators that I watch the most are James Turner from The Sims Supply and also Curtis Parody, fellow Canadian. He is, like, his builds are just beautiful. I love them. I think he's a really, really creative person. And in terms of non-Sims, I really, really like uh, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. Those guys are hilarious. They... Like, I don't know, their entertainment level is amazing, their jokes are great. And the last favorite YouTuber that I have, that I watch like all the time, is actually the team from ASAP Science. They are also Canadian. If you want to know about anything, ask those guys, they'll probably make a video of it. It's great. It's great content. They do like the whiteboard drawings, but with science, and they make it fun. So... I actually think it's The Sims 4, but that's just because I've had the most time to really get into The Sims 4 and, like, delve into everything that you can kind of do with The Sims 4. I mean, there's still parts from, like, Get to Work that I haven't touched on yet, like The Scientist Career, I haven't really done much with it. And Retail, I don't even think I've owned a store once in any of the gameplay that I've done. And I've never been to 6am. Like, there's a lot of stuff in The Sims games that I just, like, careers that I haven't worked all the way through. Like, there, there's stuff that I haven't done, and I'm, like, I really like it. But again, I think that's just because I've had the most time with this game to go through the whole gameplay. And it's the one, uh, one part of The Sims franchise 
the one game that I've been able to be there from pretty much the beginning and I'm like following it as things are coming out and it's exciting to get that new content as it keeps coming out. Yes! <laughs> um, I have something planned for get when Get Together comes out. But this all relies on if I am able to secure myself a decent gaming computer because my laptop, I'm pretty sure, will not, uh, <laughs> will not love me if I install this new EP and then try and record at the same time and do, like, the audio and the visual. Like, it's just, it's a lot for my <laughs> laptop to handle. So, yes to new LP. <laughs> my opinion on CC is that there is some really amazing stuff out there. I think it's, like, the mods that have come out, uh, the custom content of like hairs and outfits like it's amazing what people come up with and I appreciate all that hard work and time that those like community members put into creating this stuff for free for everyone to use in their game and I think it's amazing however like I said my laptop is like I have a hard enough time with it already some days and so when I did install some CC like the hairs were glitching out it's taking a really long time for my game to load. It was so, I mean, I love it, but it doesn't work for me necessarily, just in what I am currently operating on. The other flip side to that is that I'm creating content to share with everyone also, and not everybody is a fan of CC, so I create everything with just what is provided by the Sims team, what's the in-game content, because I want everybody to be able to download from the gallery those creations that I have out there. Just, yeah, so opinion on CC, it's awesome, but be smart about what you're downloading and only use it if, you know, you're, like, what your setup, gaming setup you have is capable of doing it. I had to think about this one, uh, and... It took me a while, but there's three people that I realized that I really enjoy watching in movies. And that is Jennifer Lawrence, Emma Stone, and James McAvoy. Oh, you know what? Actually, there's four. Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, no. Now we're opening a whole camera words. I'm like, there's Tom Hiddleston. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So, let's go with those five. Tom Hiddleston, James McAvoy... Benedict Cumberbatch, Jennifer Lawrence, and Emma Stone. One movie that I always end up watching is Zombieland uh, with Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, and Jesse Eisenberg. And what is her name? Abigail Benson, I think. That movie, I just think it's hilarious. I love it. I think that it's very tongue-in-cheek. It's great. I also really appreciate, um, oh man, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That's one that I just, as a, like, preteen teenager I used to watch with my friends all the time. I actually really want to watch that movie now that I've mentioned it. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. There's Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz. Uh, I also really enjoy Disney movies and Pixar movies. But yes, Disney movies, uh, one of my all-time favorites being Beauty and the Beast. I also really enjoyed uh, watching Nightmare Before Christmas. I've been watching that movie since like it came out and I think it was like two or three at the time. In terms of other Disney movies that I really enjoy, there's Treasure Planet, Atlantis, The Lost City, uh, Tangled, Brave for Pixar, Up from Pixar, Wreck-It Ralph is amazing, Big Hero 6, first being the group Pentatonix, they are amazing, they're an acapella group. What they do vocally with no instruments is just like, duh, uh, they're a cappella, way to go me. Anyways, just what they are able to do is amazing. I am always astounded at like how like dance and pop, like some of their music is. Their covers are always very like original takes on it. Their original music's super catchy. It's just. If you haven't listened to Pentatonix, check them out. I will leave a link to their YouTube channel down below. Also, uh, yeah. In terms of solo artists, I am a huge fan of Lord. Uh, she has just always been one of my favorites. 
uh, Sam Smith. He is just, oh, his vocal ability is astounding. Ellie Golding, another artist that I am totally obsessed with. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else. Do you know what? Maroon 5 as a band, because uh, I should throw another band in there. Uh, Maroon 5 is probably one of my favorite bands. Uh, I just, I don't know, like their music, again, catchy. I really like it. It's fun to walk to, dance to, clean the house to. Yeah, I tend to like more upbeat stuff, but then again, I also listen to Lord and Sam Smith, who are a little, can be a little more mellow sometimes in terms of what they have. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you have any other questions for me, send them my way through any of the social media sites or down here on YouTube in the comments section. Uh, if you have any video requests, again, send them my way. I'll do my best, uh, whether it's a build, a cast, and I will also do my best to bring that LP to you guys starting next month. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye for now!